Swarm Robotics is an emerging field. It has been around for about 15 years now and technology is only starting to give us the basic building blocks to be able to build many robots and do that in a reliable way so that we can start to build swarms that are also reliable. Swarm Robotics is uh, heavily inspired by swarm intelligence, the intelligence that is displayed by uh, social animals. So social animals are ants, bees, termites. What all of these animals have in common is the fact that they can behave as an individual, but at the same time form a smart super organism that can act in a very intelligent way. Current robotics is focused on the specification of programs for individual robots. And this is a problem when we want to program for hundreds or even thousands of robots. And that's why I created Buzz. So Buzz is, is fundamentally a programming language for populations of robots. There are two ways to think about how to control uh, swarms. One is to control uh, groups of robots, and the other one is to control individual robots. The point of Buzz is to allow you to think at both levels, and you as a programmer can decide which level is the most comfortable. One of the biggest challenges that I find the most fascinating is to be able to create a sort of collective of robots that display a level of intelligence that is not available to any individual robot. The benefit would be enormous because, for instance, this would open the road for treatment for cancers because we could send in the body very simple robots that individually would not be very effective, but because they displayed this uh, level of collective intelligence, they would be able to collectively find the location of cancer and then attack it specifically. We are working on human swarm interaction and the idea is to have the users specify goals for the group of robots rather than for individual robots. And the specific example that we're working on is collective transport. We want to have the robots autonomously coordinate to move a large object in a specific location that is dictated by the user. So personally, I, I'm interested in disaster recovery and I'm especially interested in creating a sort of ecosystem of robots that can be deployed in a disaster location where there's no infrastructure, so no communication, no way to collect information in an efficient way and deploy robots in such a way that they can collect this information, they can recruit more robots to save victims if found and in general they can do tasks that would be too difficult or too expensive or too dangerous for any individual um, to work. I absolutely love what I do. Working on topics that can have an impact, especially making people's lives better, is probably the main motivation to work uh, on any technology. And um, it's one of the main reasons why I chose to work on these things rather than others.